Hello everyone, Nate Jester, Seattle Magician here. I'm going to teach you a really cool card trick. A lot of times I do an event, people ask me, do I ever teach magic? So not usually, but there's always one trick I do tend to teach, uh, and this is it. It's a really good one. It's pretty much self-working, which means you don't have to learn any slights. Uh, you don't have to do any complex moves to, to learn it. All you gotta do is know how it works and practice it a few times. So <clears throat> here we go. I'm gonna perform it first. That way you get to experience the amazement, the wonder, and then afterwards I'll tell you how it's done and you'll be disappointed. <laughs> Take a deck of cards. It's a shuffled deck. So as the performer, I'll be the performer and you will be the spectator, because I'm here by myself, nobody else is here. <clears throat> I'm going to take a prediction card. I'm going to look at the cards, and I'm gonna guess, or I'll choose a prediction card, and I feel like it's gonna be this one right here. This is the end of the trip. I'll put it over there uh, so you can see it. We'll keep that in frame, maybe right there. So then you hand the cards to the spectator, and we'll just pretend that I'm the spectator. So. Again, there's no tricky moves here. Uh, you, tell, you tell the spectator to start dealing cards face down to a pile. So they're gonna start doing this. They just keep dealing. You can say deal two at a time, three at a time, stop whenever you want. It really doesn't matter because the spectator's doing this. I wouldn't be touching the cards right now. Imagine that I'm the spectator. When they're done, we'll just say it's right there. It really doesn't matter. The rest of the cards will go over there. They don't, uh, they're not in play anymore. It's just these cards. They stopped whenever they wanted. You instruct them to pick up the rest of the cards and then tell them to deal two separate piles alternating one by one face down. So then you tell them to do this, alternating one by one face down. And again, everything here is done by the spectator. They get their own choice. They do everything. All you did was choose that prediction card. So now they've stopped. They finished dealing all those cards. And then you tell them whatever card that is, it's the same number is that card there. So if that's a seven, that will be a seven. If that's a five, that will be a five. It's a seven. <laughs> so that would make that a seven. Whatever card this is, or whatever suit, it will be the same suit as that. So if that was a heart, it would, or if that was a spade, that would be a spade. If that was a diamond, that would be a diamond. They turn that over, it's a club. So that would mean this card over here, my prediction would be the seven of clubs. Lo well, and behold, the seven of clubs. So that's it. <clears throat> I don't know what the trick's called. I don't know who invented it. I certainly didn't, um, but it's a great trick. It's pretty much self-working, and here is how it's done. Okay, so here's how it's done. Uh, it's a normal deck. The Spectre really does get to do everything. There's nothing tricky. There's no trick cards here. There's no mirrors, nothing like that. So what I did is the first thing I did is I picked a prediction card. So what the secret is I look at the cards at the very end, these two cards right here, okay? So they have to be different in suit. So this is a seven and this is a spade. The first card you look at is the number, the second card you look at is the value. So seven of spades. So this would indicate that I'm gonna look for the seven of spades, which I follow through and I can see it right here, okay? So this is my prediction card. This would be placed face down right here. And again, this is all done with the back of the cards to the spectator. You don't want them to be able to see what card you're choosing. But basically, you fan them out so you can see those cards. I thumb through, I take out the seven of spades, and I put it there. Okay? So here's what's going to happen. These two cards are going to be brought to the top of those two piles. Okay? So how that happens, I'll show you. So... First, you tell the spectator, you give them the cards, they'll pick up the cards, you say, deal the cards face down into a pile. Now, these two cards are your, we'll call them key cards. So first they're gonna deal them, and they'll do them one by one. Now, once those are now reversed and they pass those two cards, you can say, deal two at a time, three at a time, stop whenever you want. It really doesn't matter, they can deal the rest of the cards, they can stop whenever they want, because all that matters is those two cards are in reversed order. Now you tell them to just deal two separate piles, one by one, make sure you say that, one by one, alternating piles. I usually give an image like this, one by one, alternating piles. It just helps, uh, it's that way they don't screw it up. So 
all they're going to do is start dealing cards one by one, alternating piles. And that is going to bring those two key cards to the top. The last card dealt will always be the number, okay? So this will be the seven, okay? It's always better if you call it beforehand, but you want to say, you don't want to say this is going to be the seven. You want to say whatever this is, like you have no control of it. This, whatever number this is, it will be the same number as that card. So you turn it over, it's a seven. And then this card right here, whatever suit it is, it will be the same suit as that card. So you turn that over and there it is, seven of spades. So that would mean that card over there is the seven of spades. Okay, so that's it. That's my tutorial on the prediction card trick. Again, I'm sorry, I don't know what it's called or who invented it, but it's a really great trick. I, I urge you to practice it, try it. As long as you remember the steps and understand how it works, you'll be able to do it. It will blow your friends' minds. Trust me, it's really good. So my name is Nate Jester. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it down there. Also, feel free to comment, ask me a question, I'll respond. And then I've got a YouTube channel. So please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Let me know. Keep in touch. Thanks again.